Investigators say Trooper Allen was killed by a rifle, an alarming reminder that officers are facing stronger firepower. Matt Howerton found out the Dallas Sheriff's Office is trying to get rifle-resistant body armor for its deputies. We don't have time to go back to a station, get our vest, get our rifle. No, we have to have everything on us or with us. Deputy Edward Cloud keeps it close. I, I feel very uh, secure that I have my, my rifle, my heavy vest, and my, my tactical helmet. A heavy vest that could save his life. Yes, it, it, every day. Every day I put on uh, the uniform, it crosses my mind. So this is made of lead, so a high caliber rounds not going through that. It should not. No, no, Unlike Kevlar, no, no. it stops high caliber rifle rounds. Dallas PD and the Sheriff's Office started buying these vests last year after five officers were ambushed and killed in downtown Dallas by a suspect with a high powered rifle. But a third of sheriff's deputies still don't have this kind of body armor, a little over 240. And basically the gunfight happened right here on the street. Captain Don Rowe has spent over 35 years in the sheriff's office and works just a few blocks away from where those officers died. What we're seeing now in the United States and unfortunately across the world is the officers are being attacked with these high powered weapons. Because of that, Rowe says heavy vests are a must have and the state is trying to help. Right now, departments can apply for grant money to buy these vests. The Dallas Sheriff's Office is asking for about 120 grand to get those remaining deputies outfitted. Believe me, I'll take all the tools they want to give us, all the equipment they want to provide for us, I will take it. For Cloud, it's all about giving deputies a peace of mind. But in a high stress situation, I'm not thinking, man, I hope this vest stops every round. I'm just thinking about saving my partner's lives or saving the lives of citizens. And Rose sees it like this. Vests like these are no longer a want. It's a need and we need it bad. In Dallas, Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News.